Hello, I'm Nigel Ward. I've taught computer science and physics in many of the world's top international schools, but recently I've been focused on helping people learn how to program the world's most popular pedagogical robot, the LEGO EV3, with the world's most popular and most taught textual programming language, Python. Let's get straight to the point. Should you take this course? You should not take this course if you want to make lots of cool looking LEGO robots because this course is about programming, not about building many different robots. Using variations on a standard design, the official LEGO education vehicle, is also a deliberate choice to make it possible for this course to be used in schools where teachers don't have the time or pedagogical justification to have kids making many different models. You should not take this course if you don't already have some knowledge of the basics of the Python programming language. This course will not teach you the basics of Python, and learning the basics of Python by learning how to program robots would make no sense because the special commands used to control robots are not basic Python commands. There are many ways to learn the basics of Python, including some good courses on Udemy.com. You should consider taking this course if you like working with the LEGO EV3 robot, but want to program it with a more powerful, more standard programming language than the standard LEGO one. In fact, the standard LEGO programming language isn't really a language at all. It's a set of icons that you configure and connect together. This is very different to the textual programming languages used by professional programmers. In this course, you'll learn how to program the EV3 with the Python programming language, the most popular and most taught textual programming language in the world. This course won't teach you the basics of Python, but it will give you plenty of practice in working with basic Python concepts. And at the same time, you'll be learning about robots, which is really important given that robots and artificial intelligence are going to have a huge impact on human society in the coming decades. Billions of jobs are going to be partially or completely automated, and you should do all you can to prepare for the coming changes and to boost your chances of getting a job in one of the few fields that are likely to grow. Anything that deepens your knowledge of Python and robots increases your chances of getting a well-paid job. Python programmers are generally very well paid. In the US, for example, the average salary for Python programmers is well over $100,000 per year, equivalent to more than $4 million over a whole career. With those kinds of figures in mind, ask yourself whether it's reasonable to worry about the cost of taking this course. And don't forget also that Udemy has a money back guarantee if you're not satisfied. Working with robots, even a robot as modest as the LEGO EV3 also increases your chances of getting a job working with robots, of course. And this is one job area that is likely to grow quickly while others are automated out of existence in the coming years. Even if you don't work with robots, understanding how they work will make you feel more comfortable in a world where they will strongly impact our lives. Wait a moment. Did I just describe the LEGO EV3 robot as modest? It's actually quite expensive compared to many other small robots out there. Okay, so you're paying for LEGO quality, reliability and modularity, but you're also paying a lot for something else, the possibility of programming your robot with many different programming languages. The EV3 can do that because at its heart is the so-called intelligent brick, a proper little Linux computer. As you can see, when you buy an EV3 kit with more than 600 pieces, there is one piece that costs more than all the other pieces combined. It's the intelligent brick. So if you spend all that money to have the possibility of programming in multiple languages and then only ever use the quirky Lego software, then I'm afraid, my friend, that you have wasted quite a lot of money. Speaking of buying an EV3 kit, there are two types of kit out there, the retail or home version and the education version. Although the kits are quite different, this course is designed to be compatible with both types of kit. As I said, the EV3 Intelligent Brick can be programmed in many different languages, but the fact that you're watching this video indicates that you've already figured out that Python is the best choice among the many textual programming languages out there. It's become the most taught textual programming language in the world thanks to its combination of power, simple syntax, 
and conciseness. In fact, the well-known site CodeAcademy.com now considers Python to be the world's most popular programming language. This course is very cheap compared to the cost of an EV3 and compared to the boost that Python and robotic skills can give to your career prospects. Could you get the information on this course elsewhere? Some of it, no doubt, but this course is built around a new and very simple way of programming the EV3 with Python, so you won't find much out there to compete with this course. This course is based on programming with a free open source multi-platform code editor called Microsoft Visual Studio Code, or simply VS Code. This should not be confused with Microsoft Visual Studio, which is an expensive Windows-only product. VS Code is compatible with Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Recently, an extension was released for VS Code that makes it very easy to write and run Python scripts for the EV3. How easy? As easy as one, two, three. Once everything is set up, all you need to do is write your Python script, save it, and run it by pressing the F5 key, or by running it directly on the EV3, of course. This is what VS Code looks like. The EV3 and Python extensions have been installed, and the green light in the EV3 device browser indicates that VS Code is already connected to the EV3. My system is set up so that when I press the F5 key, as I'm doing now, the script is downloaded to the EV3 and run there. It's as simple as that. In order for all this to work, the EV3 needs to be running an operating system called EV3 Dev, which you will install on a micro SD card and insert in the EV3. The great thing about that process is that it doesn't modify the EV3's firmware. So anytime you want to return to using the LEGO software, all you need to do is take out the card. Like VS Code, the EV3 dev software is completely free. So in addition to this introductory video, this course consists of short videos to show you how to set up the EV3, how to install and configure VS Code on your computer, and how to establish a connection between VS Code and the EV3. Then there are several videos that guide you through writing and running EV3 Python scripts that interact with the EV3 motors, sensors, screen, and buttons. Then there's a longer video in which we develop scripts in which the motors, the intelligent brick, and the sensors work together. Finally, we'll make a robot that can do writing and drawing, and the script for this one will be relatively sophisticated. In addition to the videos totaling about five hours, this course includes a zip file containing almost all the scripts discussed in this course, a PDF document of about 100 pages that is essentially the script of all the videos, links to build instructions for both home and education versions of the education vehicle, build instructions for a bumper attachment, build instructions for the drawbot writerbot for both the home and education versions, a detailed table of contents, and a troubleshooting document. You need to provide two small elastic bands, a whiteboard marker, a flashlight, and some serial cartons or similar. 
If you're hesitating about taking this course, you can check out my website, ev3python.com, mind-storms.com, and technofiles.eu. A last note. This course is not aimed at hackers or people with advanced Python skills. In particular, this course does not explain how to communicate with the EB3 from VS Code via a secure shell or SSH connection, even though that's quite easy to do from VS Code. And it does not explain how to connect the EB3 to the internet via your computer, since that's not needed for this course. Furthermore, this course does not cover the use of third-party sensors or motors, only the ones that are included in the standard EV3 kits. And this course does not explain how to use EV3 Dev to work with Raspberry Pi or BeagleBone, even though EV3 Dev is also compatible with those platforms.